Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. So I'm really excited for today's video. I'm doing a bit of a room update vlog, a little bit of a mini room tour, homeware haul. It's going to be a little bit of everything. But I uploaded a, I don't know what I called it, it was like a room organisation vlog which I loved, where basically I just showed you like the state of my room because it was a bit of a mess and I was showing you like organising different drawers because my whole wardrobe and everything was just a stain. It was stressing me out. And I said that I wanted to go on like a room update, room revamp sort of journey of just give my room like a little bit of TLC because it was just deteriorate, deteriorating, deteriorating. I always struggle to say that word. But yeah, I uploaded that video about a month ago now. So I will link it in the description box below if you haven't seen it to go watch that one first. But it's about a month or so later now. And my room, I feel like it's come... A little bit of a way along now because like i said it was just stressing me out like i was just living what i felt like in a pigsty and i wasn't but if i like my nice little pigsty i have organized most of my wardrobe now because i woke up one day and you know you're just like right that's it that's something clicks in you and i was like right that is it this wardrobe is just get the bane of my life so i literally organized basically all of my wardrobe which i will show you but i did um leave a couple of drawers because it took me like all day to do so i'm probably going to do them drawers today with you on this vlog um, I've got some new things to show you that I bought. Um, so yeah, I'm kind of excited about this video because this is a meetup of video. I love a like, little homeware haul video. I'm just going to give you a quick little pan over. I showed you my room last time and how messy it was like everywhere. There was all stuff shoved under there. So I've just made everything look a lot more cleaner and then also added some new bits and bobs. The only mess that I've got is this cherries haul which I filmed. So I just need to put that away. And I, oh yeah, and there's some <laughs> clothes shoved there which I also need to organise. And I want to start putting my ring light away. It's obviously so much easier to just have it out when I want to film but it just is a bit of an eyesore with that just hanging out there. So I'm going to start putting that away. But I hope you can see I've sort of cleaned up. I just wanted it to feel cleaner and not as messy. So yeah, let's just start with this little room vlog. So I want to show you some new bits that I bought for my room. I haven't bought loads, but I've just bought like little bits and bobs to add a bit more to the room. So I've done a bit of shopping, so I want to show you what I've picked up recently. And I've also got some bits from Decenio, which I'm so excited about. So thank you so much to Decenio for sponsoring this video. I'm sure you've all heard of Decenio before, but they are a website that sells all different designs of Scandinavian prints and frames. They update their collection regularly as well, and they have something for everyone, like everyone's different tastes, and also all the different rooms that you might want to print in. And their site also has a gallery tool, which is so cool. I really wish I could have a gallery wall, but I just don't have the space like the wall space for it but I love the way that gallery wall looks with all different prints and frames I think it looks really cool so my prints got delivered the other day there's a little bit of a sneak peek of one up there which I was so excited to receive so obsessed with the ones that I've picked out they came packaged really well as well so nothing got damaged like none of the frames or the prints got damaged in the post which was really amazing and Decenia are also really big on sustainability also they work with an organisation called Agroforestry so for every tree used in the production of their Decenio prints they plant two trees through V Agro Forestry so I think that's really great and in 2019 they actually planted 6,664 trees so I think that's amazing so I'm going to show you the prints that I chose and I'm so excited because they actually they just add so much to a room if you've got like a blank bit of wall or a shelf or anything just putting a print up there just adds so much you can also add different colours through your prints as well I just love it so I chose this print because I wanted a smaller print for my shelf I've recently just got this shelf above my bed this is one of the new additions. I just feel like this wall above the bed was really plain. So I wanted to add a shelf there. So I've got this shelf and I wanted a little print to put up there. So this is there. I can't remember the exact dimensions, but I will leave it in the description box below. I'm pretty sure this is the size of like an A4 piece of paper, as you can see. And then I also chose the silver frame. And it just has this like nice grayed out background and then a green plant on it, which I, I try and add. Because my room is so just literally black, white, gray and silver, I try to add a little bit of colour through plants and greenery so I really liked this print I feel like it adds a lot to the shelf obviously I haven't done this shelf properly yet but I feel like the print makes a big difference so I picked out this little A4 print and I just love the way it looks balanced on the shelf I think it looks so nice and then coming into my sister's room we have another print okay so this is my sister's room she is currently at uni so she doesn't use it so I've used it as I've sort of changed it into my office obviously I work at home every single day so this has sort of been my office um space because it's got a big desk which i don't have and it's like just quiet in here it's just a nice place to come and work so i've changed it into 
into my office basically it's not my sister's room anymore it's my office we got we had this like plain black plain black plain gray wall so we added this print in it um my sister's room is gray white and pink if you can tell it's gray white and pink so i wanted to put a bit of pink in this room so we went for this print which i am obsessed with it's so fun like a lot of the prints i feel like are really um i pick a lot of pretty prints if that makes sense but this is just a fun and cool print it is a pink background that has a giraffe on it and it's blowing a bubblegum bubble and i absolutely love it again i went for the silver frame i just like how the silver frame looks i believe it is 50 times 70 centimeters so it takes up a really nice amount of this wall I absolutely love it. Like I said, I just think it's a really fun print. Yeah, I feel like this is definitely one of my favourites. I just absolutely love it and fun and just adds a little bit more to my sister's room slash my office because I chose it. No one being in this room every day. My sister's not here, so this is what I chose and I love it. I think it's really fun. And then these are the kitchen ones. I'm sorry if you can hear the dishwasher. The dishwasher is on, so it's making a bit of noise. But these are the Desenio prints that I chose for the kitchen. My mum helped me as well. So again, I love how there's all different themes on the website. So these are very like kitchen based. So they really go well together. The kitchen's really grey and white. And this white wall was really like a big space that needed to be filled. So it just adds like a lot to the kitchen. I'm obsessed with these. We're just hung them up with little command strips. So there's no like now in the wall or anything like that they're literally just stuck to it me and my mum stuck them up with a little command strips we were really excited about them so we didn't bother getting one of those what are those things that, like tell whether something's level like that little stick with the little bubble in it if you know what i'm talking about i can't think of what it's called <laughs> so, we, so we were literally like debating for ages but it's actually straight yeah there yeah is that straight yeah sure yeah it's going that straight yeah, as far as I can see, yeah. Does it line up with it? I think so. Now? Yeah. Hmm. Does it look straight? It is straight. I'm sure it's straight. Straight? Yeah, straight. 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 I know. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's on now. Yeah. Oh, I like you. So the top one it's just this toast print and we also we got a white frame um it's this toast print and it goes from light toast to burnt toast i think it looks really cool and also the background is gray which goes really well with the kitchen we had this dripping coffee one which again is very kitcheny and i just love these two together like i said they add so much to the kitchen absolutely love them so those were the decenio prints that i chose i do have a discount code with decenio it's megan lou and it will get you 20 percent off i will leave all the information in the description box i'm pretty sure it's only valid until the 22nd of october so if you do want to get decenio print then definitely get it quick time because my discount code is only valid for two days and it will get you 20 percent off which saves you a lot of money on their website as well and i will also leave the link to the website in the description box so you can check out their prints and i will leave the links to the prints that I chose as well in case you're interested in any of them but thank you so much to Desenio for sending me over them prints and also sponsoring this video I will leave all the information in the description box I'm going to insert a little bit of footage of when I went shopping with my mum basically we went to a retail park yesterday to pick up some bits for like my shelf and my room so we went to the range went to B&M we went to home sense and i did want to vlog it but i forgot my camera it's so annoying i was going to vlog the whole day but i forgot my camera so i ended up just doing a few clips on my phone because it really i just knew the quality would irritate me so i didn't want to film too much so yeah i'm just going to insert the clips of when i went shopping um, i'm pretty sure i start off in the range so yeah just a little mini come shop with me to include in the vlog this is like heaven oh look at that plant that's so nice yeah, I like that one. That's actually really nice. Mm. So I haven't found anything for my shelf. I was really excited about this shop, but there's nothing in here for my shelf, which is kind of annoying. We bring Bonnie something back from the dog section. I think we should. Huh? I have got to go look at pillows, my bad. Get her. Bonnie, what are we going to get Bonnie? <laughs> That looks like she'd chew it really easily. Should get her a chewy bone. I'm sure these were Wilkinson's for a pound, but they're three pounds here. Oh, I don't know. Ridiculous. We've decided on pork rolls for Bonnie. She's going to be really thrilled. Oh, we get her a toy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
Go ahead in. The Christmas stuff. Quick coffee stop. I've got a skinny ice. No, I've got an ice caramel latte. Mum's still got her mask on. <laughs> Now we're in HomeSense. Never been to a HomeSense before. Okay, so I'm gonna do a haul of what I got yesterday when I went shopping. Um, me and my mum went to the Lakeside Retail Park, which I've never actually been to the retail park, I don't think that I can remember. They have like everything you'd need. They've got the range, HomeSense, just everything. So I'm gonna show you what I picked up yesterday, a few home bits. So I think I'm gonna start with B&M, what I got from B&M. So I just picked up some toothpaste because I needed some toothpaste. So I got this plant, which I am planning to put on my shelf. But it's this like fake artificial um, fern plant. I just loved how bright the green was. Like I said, my room is very gray, white, silver. So I do like to add color through the plant and just add a bit of green to my room. So I got this fake plant, but I actually loved the pot the most. It's like this gray stone with all of this white pattern on it. I just thought it looked really nice. I love this like gray stone sort of material. I just really liked it. And this was only 10 pounds. So I picked that up, which I think is gonna go on my shelf. I'm just not sure if it's too big. Oh, so I picked up this Christmas candle, which again, I love because it has that same like gray stone material, but it's just covered in Christmas trees, a little fox, it's got a reindeer on there. And this is in the scent silver snowflakes. Just smells really fresh and like, kind of like crisp air. Does that make sense? Kind of smells like crisp air. Really nice. This was only four pounds. I thought this would be nice to get out at Christmas time to put on my shelf or like my radiator cover. Just like adding like Christmassy stuff in December so I feel nice and Christmassy and yeah, I thought this candle was really nice. So I picked that up. And then this, which I think is my favourite. It was only two pounds. But it's this little, again, this like grey stone. But it's a little elephant. It has a little plant in it. I mean, it's fake, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's fake. It's a little grey elephant. And I just thought this would look really nice either on my shelf or in my bathroom or something. Would look nice. Again, I like to add green to like the grey in my room. And this was only two pounds. And it's called the small elephant plant. I loved that. So I picked that up. Okay, so on to the range. The range was... I've never been to a range before, I don't think. And I was quite overwhelmed. But I didn't actually buy much home stuff. It was actually... I think I got it in the vlog. But we there was this massive Christmas section. And I got so excited because I just love buying Christmas stuff. Um, I just picked up this little pad because I like to write things down. So I picked up a little pad because I'd run out. I got this photo frame which I've already put a picture in yesterday because I wanted to get a picture in there. But I love this frame because it was so inexpensive. It's like a grey wood. It's really similar to the laminate that I've got in my room. So I thought that kind of went well. And then it just has like a white board around it and it was only like two pound something and yeah i was really happy with it so i put a picture of me and my sisters in there to put somewhere in my room i love when a room has loads of pictures i just think it makes it really personal i just picked up a lenore fabric refresher but now onto the ball balls which i am so excited about i have a tree in my room i only got it last year so i hadn't i didn't have like loads of ball balls so i wanted to get a few more and my theme is obviously white silver and grey. Just a little heads up. So all my ball balls were white, silver and grey. They had so many. Like, you know when you feel overwhelmed? I was like, I just didn't even... I picked up about 14 ball balls. And then I had to reevaluate Because I was like, I can't buy 14 ball balls. It's just ridiculous. I think I ended up getting eight. Um, this is the first pair that I got. This is my favourite. I absolutely love it. It's like a chrome teardrop. And then has all of this, like, white stuff on it. It's like little jewels. And that, but I just thought on the tree that would look so pretty. They also had this in a circle one, um, but my mum said that the teardrop one was nicer and I couldn't decide, so I went with what she said. And these were £1.79 each. I got two of them. I kind of wish I got three now, I'm not gonna lie, because I really like these. Um, I just think they look really nice together. Uh, so yeah, I picked them up. Then these are really cheap. These were only 99p each, but I really liked them. I thought they looked really nice. They're like a really big, clear ball ball, but it has all this like white. I don't know what it is, but it looks like snow. They look like a little snowy white ball. And I thought this would look really nice on the tree, especially my tree has like, you know when it comes pre-snowed, has snow all over it. So I thought this would look quite nice on there. So I picked that up. Then I picked up these two white ones. These were 139 each. And I thought these were really nice. I 
think my tree last year didn't have a lot of white on it. I think it was very much like silvery if I can remember. So I wanted to pick up a few white ones. Honestly, the range had just the nicest baubles. If you want to get some new stuff for Christmas, definitely get down to the range. And then the last pair that I got, I got these because these were more grey and I just thought they were a bit different. But like a grey, silvery um, leaf bauble these were only 129 so these were really cheap and just these with like the white they just look so nice together honestly i wish you could have seen how excited i was when i went upstairs and saw the christmas section i like freaked out i just love it so these were the baubles that i got it didn't actually come to that much money to be fair i kind of wish that i'd got another pair i'm not gonna lie but i can always go back and um get some more so i'm gonna put these in my little um storage thing above my wardrobe to put them away um yeah i'm excited so if you love christmas stuff definitely get to the range because they had the nicest although it was mainly their baubles their actual like just christmas decorations weren't that great i wanted like a nutcracker to put out but they didn't have one so that's what i got from the range and then i just popped to primark and i got um actually I'm not going to show you because I think I'm going to do a Primark haul. So I'm sorry for that little sneak peek, but I think I'm going to do a Primark haul. So yeah, that was everything that I got from the retail park. I only bought stuff from the range and B&M. We did go into HomeSense, but they didn't really have too much. They had nice Christmas stuff, but I'd already bought that stuff from the range. So I thought, best not. But yeah, I'm now going to show you a few other bits that I've picked up throughout the month of when I last did this room vlog. So a few of the things I've picked up to add to my room. It's not really a lot, but I'll show you just some new things I've added to my room. Obviously the first, like I've already showed you, was this shelf. I'm pretty sure my mum got this shelf from Wayfair and I just decided to put it above my bed. And then this candle is new. It's like a silver hammered candle. And I got it because I have a lot of silver hammered things in my room like my lamp and then also my bin um so i got this from dun elm i don't actually know what the candle smells like i don't think i smell it it's in white oud is that how you say it and magnolia it was nine pounds mm, smells nice um so yeah i got that from dun elm to put on my shelf because i liked how it was silver and hammered and then the next thing i've picked up for my room i picked up these pillows because i basically wanted a set of pillows like this that i'm showing you to put in front of this little one i just wanted to add more pillows to bed just so, I don't know, just to add a bit more to the bed. I wanted them to still be quite plain and simple and I absolutely love these. I found these on Dusk and they had a really cool like bedding sets and throws. I was going to get a new throw but mine was, mine was quite expensive to be fair and so I, and I really like it. I don't know why, I just wanted to buy things I think. But I ended up getting these pillows, um, I will link them down below if they still do them but they're just like a nice square pillow with this grey like Oxford outline thing and then all these little stitched on grey like almost stars I guess and then I got two pairs and um, they were kind of expensive that's what I, I mean I thought they were expensive I think both these together with the pillowcases and the pillows were I think came to like just over £30 but I'm so happy with them I think that's quite expensive anyway I'm not sure if it actually is but with the silver pillow and the silver throw, I just really like the way that it looks. So I picked them up from Dusk. And I picked up again this little silver hammered thing. Um, again, got it from Dunelm. This is a little tray and I just got it to put on my radiator cover to put my perfumes on. Got some perfumes on here and then my little body lotion. And I just like it because this radiator cover had not a lot on, but I had like my scent... Um, warmer thing that thing there was there I had a photo frame i had some little disney funko pops a little plant i just wanted it to look really simple again so i really like how that's just in the middle and it looks really simple and then i just moved over my little electric tray not electric tray why do i keep calling it that what is it an electric wax burner here with my photo frame so again this is just a lot more clearer and then there's me in my little ikea mirror a little plant which i think was from home bargains and this is one of the new things again for my room i again wanted some more green in my room so i picked this plant up from ikea it is real i did want an artificial one but i just found the artificial ones looked so artificial if that sounds silly but um yeah i just wanted more greenery in my room so this was from ikea although it is too short so i did have to put it on like a little box which kind of looks weird but it looks silly 
how short it was. So I got this from Ikea and it was really, really cheap. It's probably going to die soon. Um, but I like how it looks. Like I said, it just adds like more green to my room. So if I come over here, you can just see like it adds a little bit of green to my room and I really like it. Some storage boxes under here. That's my Christmas tree skirt, which is for Christmas, obviously. I just have some storage boxes because like I said, I've still got a few more drawers to organize. So they're just there to do that. And that I'm pretty sure is all of my new additions. Oh, actually, I will also show you what I got for my bathroom as well. I picked a few things up for my bathroom. This is the bathroom. This is me and my sister's bathroom. But like I said, my sister is at uni, so I'm the only one who uses it. But we put in these two little shelves, which again, my mum bought from Ikea. Uh, not Ikea, from Wayfair, sorry. So it's just like the sink and then the um, unit. <laughs> and then there's two little shelves above there now. And so I got this plant, which is my favourite thing ever. I absolutely love it. This is from Matalan. Do not know Matalan did so many nice stuff. I don't know why, but I just didn't think they did that nice stuff. But their home bits was really good. So I got that from Matalan. I think it was like a tenner. So cute. Just a little giraffe with a plant coming out of it and then i also got this plant as well i do need something to go here i'm thinking i might get another print i might actually order from decennia and get a little a4 print i think that will look really nice um i like how the two plants are together like that and then i got this little toothbrush holder from super drug and then you can also get a matching little soap dispenser super drug had really nice little bits and bobs like that so i got that as well because i thought that looked nice with the sink so they were from super drug this little fake plant set up from dun elm they also had this in the range i saw it yesterday but it's just like a little fake plant set comes this little gray tray and i just put that's my fake tan mitt um i just put it on the windowsill because i like again how it adds greenery to it and then one last thing i also got this from super drug it's a little gray fake plant to put in my little um shower shelf just again add some greenery to it but yeah i thought i'll just show you the little bits and bobs that i picked up from my room as well like i said i have been buying quite a lot of home bits just like little bits here and there honestly adding the prints and the little plants just makes such a difference that is my little homeware haul installment of the vlog i think now what i'm gonna do is try to sort out this shelf i'm not sure how i want it to look um, obviously i'm going to keep that print up there and probably the i'm going to keep all that up there but i want it to look sort of it's not scattered that's not the right word i just want it to look a bit more jumbled up there does that make sense so i'm going to try and do the shelf stuff whatever i put on this shelf just looks seriously wrong i think it's this plant you know i think it's too big too i don't know it just i feel like it looks weird whatever i do with it looks weird so that's how it's looking right now um yeah, I don't like it. Do you know what? I think I might put that plant and swap it with some, one of the ones in the bathroom because it's just irritating me. It just doesn't look right. So I think I'm going to put that down in the bathroom. Okay, so I think this is the this is my favourite way that I've organised it, I think. So I've got my print, Desenio print in the middle. I've got that little bra, a bra, <laughs> to say giraffe plant from the bathroom from Matalan. I bring it in here because I absolutely love it and I feel like it just goes, the range one was just too big. So I'm there, I've got my TK Maxx frame, my little elephant, which I love, uh, the new frame from the range and then my Dunelm little silver candle i think that looks really cool this was the kind of look that i wanted to go for i do want it to look really like regimented i feel like this looks quite cool so that's just it above the bed like that and yeah i really like it so i think i'm going to keep it like that and then my plan as well is just to change up the pictures like every month or so because i feel like i've got so many memories and like happy pictures and stuff so i want to make sure that i get them all printed and just sort of like swap the pictures around regularly because i've got that one on my desk as well and then i've got one of bonnie on my bedside table so yeah i think i want to change up the pictures like every month or so to just remember all the happy memories you know so yeah i think that's ticked off now the shelf above the bed i'm pretty sure it is ticked off i really like how it looks i'm quite glad that i did that so that shelf 
is done. Oh, also something that I bought, which I didn't show you. I got this Yankee candle in the cell. I love burning candles in the autumn winter time. It's like my favourite thing to do in the evening. Um, so I got this in Yankee candle on sal and I absolutely love it. It's in the scent autumn glow. You can see I've burnt quite a lot of it now, but oh, it smells insane. It's like a really, it is an autumn-y smell, but it almost is like a bit perfumey. It smells like I really don't know how to explain it. I'm rubbish at smells. But if you have like a Yankee Candle shop near you, I'd definitely check this out. I got it in the sale. It was like £24 down to 12 I think. A really good saving as well, but it smells unreal. Like, But having like a nice, clean, tidy room, burning this off the evening is just the best feeling ever. So yeah, I got that as well, which I'm just putting on my bedside table at the minute. This looks really bare because I took one of the pictures and put it up there so i also want to go and get another picture frame because like i said i like to have a lot of pictures in my room so i'm going to pick up another picture frame for that bedside table which is kind of like harrison's side i guess um yeah i feel a bit out of breath a bit puffed out that was exhausting i just every way that i put that shelf it just looked wrong um so yeah i feel quite happy that i feel like i found the right the right version now so yeah i think i'm just gonna have a little break and then i think i might organize the drawers that i haven't organized my wardrobe show you a bit of my wardrobe um or i might do that tomorrow and show you it tomorrow i'm not totally sure yet i feel like this ho this haul this vlog has been really rambly a lot of rambling and obviously the uh, it's a lot of the haul stuff as well just showing you what i picked up but i hope it's okay okay it's the next day um i was supposed to sort out my drawers yesterday obviously but i didn't don't really have a reason i just didn't really fancy doing it in the end so i'm going to sort out my drawer this evening and just show you sort of a little bit of organization so basically the drawer that i want to sort out so i've got two drawers that i need to do and then my whole wardrobe is done um so this is my hair drawer as you can see it is a complete and utter mess i just want to organize it into like my hair tools like my dry shampoos my serums and stuff because everything's just sort of scattered out and it makes it really hard to find obviously what i want to find i also want to sort out this home bargains stuff it's just sitting in my room it's just such a lot of stuff that i'm finding it really overwhelming to put away if you haven't seen my cherries what did i just say did i say home bargains i don't mean home bargains if you haven't seen my cherries haul definitely recommend going and watching it because it's like really cool like home stuff like all cleaning bits and yeah that website is literally great i'm obsessed so i do need to sort out that cherry stuff tonight and then i'm going to sort my hair dra hair dra i'm going to sort my hair stuff into these little um storage boxes that i showed you these are just from Danielle, by the way i think some of them are from um robert dias as well you can get them from both so i'm going to sort my hair stuff into these like i said i did all my wardrobe like one day um just had enough and did it all um but i did leave a few drawers left because it was kind of exhausting i've got a little plastic bag so i'm sure i'm gonna have to chuck out some bits i probably got old like dry shampoo bottles and stuff in here let's organize my hair drawer i kind of can't be bothered it's like i've been at work all day and it's like seven o'clock we're gonna do it <sighs> styling tools don't actually fit into 
this box that I got them for, which is very annoying. To be fair, this is a really long curling iron, so let's see if the straighteners, yeah, see the straighteners fit in, okay. And the hairdryer, I might just have to leave that curler out. Yeah, okay. Okay, problem solved. Okay, so this is way more organised than it was. I can actually see everything that I've got. So in this box here, we have my hair tool. So I've got my hair dryer, I've got my little beauty wake, beauty wake, beauty works waver, um, my straighteners, my little babyliss curling wand, and then in this box I have all of my hair products. I've got my hairspray, dry shampoo, my serum. I've got a heat protectant under there, um, some little styling clips and just some like little Moroccan oil and stuff in here. And then basically this part is things that can't fit in the storage. We have my big dry shampoo and my hairbrush which actually can go there and then my long Beauty Works waver. I have my Beauty Works little travel cases at the back here, some extra hairbrushes and some hairbands and that's just some Christmas wrapping paper. I don't know why that's there. Yeah, I feel like it's hard to make a hair drawer look really organised because it is like a lot of cable-y mess but this looks so much better. I know where everything is. I know all the hair stuff that I've got. I've chucked out all my empty stuff. There was quite a lot. I'm quite pleased with this drawer actually so that is done. So that was everything for this vlog. I hope you enjoyed this little room update little homeware haul please give it a thumbs up if you did i love these sort of videos so i really hope that you enjoyed it we'll of course leave all the information around the decenio prints in the description box if you do want to check them out as well as my discount code as well but yeah i hope you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i will see you in my next video bye